Uh, tell me who you are. Uh, I'm Felix and I'm doing props for Chalk. Okay, yeah. so Chalk is the name of the film? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, so we'll find out a little bit more about the film, but just tell me very quickly how many people are involved and what the, you know, where everyone fits in. Yeah, I say we've got about um, 20 or so people directly working with the academy for it. We've got other people who are like makeup and extras and acting and stuff like that who um, aren't part of it, but they're helping us out as well. So we've so we've got like um, publicity, producers, directors, ADs, just everyone you could really want from in the production. So, so um, you found yourself doing props. Yeah. Did you come here exactly? Is that exactly what you wanted to do, or have you kind of changed your mind as you've been doing the clinic? Well, initially, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do foley because um, that's kind of always, always interested me. But then there wasn't really a position to do foley, so um, I decided to do props because um, I've. I've done it before. I used to do like theatre productions, so I'd work in props there, and I, I, it is the funnest job. <laughs> so, so uh, anything really surprised you about this uh, this project? I mean, did you did you come up with any preconceptions, and have they changed, or you know? Um, I th I wasn't a hundred percent. I didn't know a hundred percent that we were going to make a film. I thought it would just kind of be masterclasses. So when I found out that we were. Uh, actually working on one, it was a bit of a surprise, but I mean, it, it was a pleasant one, so... Because I haven't really done any um, kind of productions before, so it, it's very interesting to be involved. Um, working with professionals, it's um, very interesting, because a lot of the time before we'll start to work on a certain thing, they might give like a lecture or like a masterclass in a certain thing, like we had um, a director in and like a producer and people like that to kind of tell us about kind of the rules, I guess, of the industry. And um, it's good because professionals can kind of like look over your shoulder and see what you're doing so if you're making any major mistakes they can be like don't do that or you should do this instead and that kind of thing. Anyone surprised? I mean any kind of major kind of wow I, I didn't know that. Um, I'd say probably it's, it was kind of amazing to me about how um, apart from kind of funding making a film can be kind of for everyone because it it's it's easy to think of it as just kind of, you know, major professionals and major directors, but you, you look at some productions and you're like, wow, I mean, just, you know, some guy made that, some, someone else could make it, something like that as well. So that's, that's quite surprising. That's quite nice. Yeah. So uh, where are you going to be in about five years' time? Um, hopefully at uni. Um, so I'm, I want to go and do film, uh, carry on with that, and then <laughs> hopefully try and get a job in the industry. I'll see how that goes. Yeah. And... Um, so here we are, we're, we're in Truro. Yeah. How do I pronounce it? Truro. Truro. Here we are in Truro. Quite towards the end of the country. It's yeah. It's kind of squirreled away a little bit there. Yeah. Is there, um, do you think that um, there's a film industry worth making here? I think so. I mean, there's Falmouth University, um, which does a lot of kind of film courses and film production, that kind of thing. And... Um, all of the I have had plenty of opportunities to do film here and it's quite surprised me actually because when I first started getting interested in it I was like well you know that's it I was gonna have to be like a self-contained interest but um no I, th I think there really is something to develop here I mean the location is good so that's good yeah what would you tell what would you say to someone who was thinking about doing this oh absolutely go for it it's it, it really is worthwhile so yeah. that's cool yeah okay I think I've got everything bro